creativity isn't really a thing, you know? I mean, as a designer, I don't sit at a desk with a pen and page and say, okay, I'm going to be creative now. That's not really how it works. I love the idea of comparing jellyfish to a concept. Uh, I know it kind of sounds random, but the more you think about it, the more it makes sense. I mean, the only time you would usually encounter a jellyfish would be really in the summer when there's a lot of them washed up on the sand and they're these kind of rubbery, shapeless creatures with absolutely no structure. And that's essentially like an initial concept. It's sloppy and it's messy and nobody really wants to get involved with it. But when you think about it, if you put an idea into the correct environment or an organism into the correct environment, it can totally transform. So look at a jellyfish, it turns from this ugly, gloopy mess into an incredibly gracious being that is truly formless. And so I think it's a really good representation of what an idea can become. Another big part of the process for me would be trust. You know, how do you trust your own process and how do you learn to trust your ability to respond? I think usually when we try to kind of define things and contain them, it's because we're full of fear, you know? Like we're full of fear because we might fail or it might not be good, people mightn't understand it. But the reality is those are just little things that are getting in the way of something being alive. I think the important thing to remember is there will always be risks and there will always be dangers. But I think that's actually what defines success, not creativity.